so here we are then uh, we're going to give it a go for chub in this pool and the bait I'm going to try is the trusty old lobworm because as well as chub there's rumours of some quite decent perch in this pool uh, yet to catch one myself and there's our trusty old stick float centre pin reel and 12 foot match rod as they used to call them in the old days I don't know what it would be now just a float rod presumably quite light set up um, three pound line uh, the river is a bit on the low side a little bit lower than I'd like really uh, after quite a dry, dry January generally not a great deal of rain and it's running low still a little bit above summer level um, but quite clear so cautious approach required I'm just going to put a few maggots in one or two chop worms in there as well and we're going to start off with this approach um, depending on how I get on I might try bread a bit later as well I know there's a few chub in this pool they can be quite crafty but let's have a go and roll that float out into the floor just let it uh, ease its way around no great hurry just holding back very slightly and there hang on oh maybe not I think we just drag it on the bottom thought I saw the float draw under let's just try that again untangle that line from the back of the centre pin after me uh, slightly botched Wallace cast let's see what happens here I'm sure there's fish down there but whether they're going to play the game I'm not sure and whoa we're in hang on we're out <laughs> felt something there but um, I'm not sure what it was it could have been a trout could have been a chub it was a, a meaty feeling fish just on momentarily well that's a very good sign anyway uh, second or third cast and we're into a fish so it's it's not bad here we go again same spot come on you know you want it big juicy worm here completely free and and there yep we're in that's a good fish on of some sort it's either a chub or one of those nice meaty perch and the feel of it I don't know it, it's a chub yeah I can see it flash underwater there yep decent chub well when I say decent decent by the standards of this stream it's uh, it's quite close to home and a nice sinky little spot but it's uh, it's not known for specimen fish here we go I must admit I like the fight they put up in the winter that the same fish in the summer is pretty flaccid and uh, and dull to, to who can play out but <coughs> in the winter they've got that little bit of spice about them and it's uh, it's really nice to play them on the centre pin too I find I'll just get rid of that bread out of my landing net it's been soaking for uh, for bread mash for later and there we go he's in the net uh, not a big fish by any standards but not bad compared to some of the small perch I've been getting on the canal the, uh, the sort of one bank one bite blank savers that's uh, it's quite a reasonable fish so I'll get that hook out and uh, it's proving a bit elusive with all rubber lips the hook's got quite a grip it has got a pinch barb on it but even so it's uh, proving quite difficult to move there we are get it out with the forceps stuck in the net now and there's our fish he's got uh, either a heron stab or a wound from a cormorant or some other predator on its side looks quite sore but no fungus on it there's his good side not bad 
nice chunky fish maybe uh, a pound and a half ish good start anyway that for the sake of a, a few minutes work and off he goes So, back in again, and this time I'm going to try the bread. Be quite wary of these fish, and uh, you'll often find that uh, after one fish it can be difficult. Um, if you change the bait, it sort of gives you another life, really. So, bread flake on the hoop. It's a, it's a size 10 spade end I've got on by the way, which is quite suitable for either uh, worm or flake alike. And out we go with the bread flake. Again. This Wallace casting is uh, work in progress at the moment, but oh we got him out. There he goes. Not tangled around the reel this time either. Out he goes and work it around that bend again. Maybe five, four or five foot deep. Nice little sort of channel. Most of this stream's quite shallow and fast flowing. This is one of the few sort of uh, decent holding pools. And that's another one, and this time a bit heavier. Have the feel of it. Oh yeah, yeah this is a, a fatter one, on the bread this time, and again fighting very hard and running a little bit of line off that, uh, that centre pin there, this really is quite a spirited one. Come on. Yeah. Let's get the net out. And there we go. He's in. Well, I'm quite happy with that. That's uh, that's a good brace of fish, really. For a sort of grim winter's afternoon, well chuffed with that. In a perfect world, I'd have wanted uh, the weather a little bit warmer and uh, a little bit more water in the river, and maybe a bit of colour as well. But uh, that's good. Wet my hands before we uh, we touch the fish, which I always do. Thought I'd make it obvious this time. You see a lot of uh, bad handling on YouTube uh, with people not wet wetting their hands before they grasp the fish and I, I think it's really poor. Again, that hook's quite stuck. I'm going to have to crimp the barb a bit further I think on the hook. There we go. He's out. It's actually broken off, but it's still actually in the forceps. There we go. That's a better one. I don't know, maybe uh, possibly give that one two and a half, three pounds. Which is nothing exceptional for a chub, but uh, as I say, not bad for this river at all. <laughs> so... At that stage, I think we're going to have to be uh, thinking about packing up, so very pleased with that. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, share and comment. And uh, I'd love to see you again soon. Okay, cheers. Bye. Yeah, so uh, in the comments, why not tell me about your own favourite chub fishing methods and uh, venues, etc, rivers canals whatever and uh, we can uh, have a bit of a discussion about it i'd love to do that okay all the best